Okay, so uh, here is my 1986 Kawasaki ZL600, otherwise known as the Eliminator. And I wanted to um, make a video review of this bike. I've had it for uh, about two years now. And um, it was my first bike, although I had a scooter first, so I guess maybe my second bike, but my first motorcycle. And in short, it's a great beginner bike. I loved it. Um, I love it. It's a uh, very forgiving if you mess up like I tend to do sometimes or I did at the beginning. Um, you know, it's it won't mess you up too bad. And uh, I've never downed it or anything. Um, dropped in the garage a couple times, but that was just didn't have the kickstand fully extended. But other than that, um, man, just a great ride. The engine is amazing. It's a um, it's inline four, and uh, yeah, great. Um, very strong engine, but uh, usable power, like not crazy power. And uh, so, yeah, I highly recommend the bike. It's just awesome. And uh, So I just got my GoPro. This is my first um, video with this, and sorry, there's people pulling up, so it's kind of distracting. But um, yeah, love this bike. It's awesome. Never let me down. Gas tank is really small on it, though. So you know, um, it's like two and a half gallons or something like that. You will not get a lot very far with it. It's great for cruising around. I take it on the back roads of Sonoma County a lot. I'm in California. Northern California, beautiful, wide country here, and here you can see some. This is a uh, Nagasawa Park in Santa Rosa. It's a beautiful day, and some people going fishing. Even it's it's December. It's like a couple days before Christmas, and it's really cold. Um, well, today's kind of balmy in the 50 mid 50s. We've had a lot of rain here, so. But no, this bike is incredibly awesome. Let me. Uh, up for you. Show it to you. Shout out to Ghost Drifter and his video. Um, I was inspired by his video to do my own, so here we go. Let's start it up. Here's the engine. We're on. Turn my blinker off. And we're in neutral. Here we go. It is a carbureted model, so it's harder to, um, it's not hard to start up, but it definitely needs to be warmed up in the morning. It takes a couple minutes. It doesn't take long, though. Sometimes I take off with the choke on, and I just, um, and then turn it off so I don't irritate my neighbors too much. So there's the choke right there. And, uh, yeah, I've got 26,264 miles on mine. I am selling it. Uh, because I want to upgrade to something newer, but um, well, it's for sale. Haven't had any. It's kind of hard to sell a bike now. Right now, being December, it's not really riding season, so I might put it back on the market in uh, February. So that's it. Uh, first review. Love it. I'll try to mount my GoPro and take it out for a ride for y'all.